Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alishan Mao here. In this era, our daily life is so busy that it takes us away from healthy activities. As the days pass by, we are becoming more and more seed potatoes, couch potatoes, beanbag potatoes, watching movies, watching television, playing games, working on the computer all the time, busy in this busy life. It takes us away from healthy activities and of course there are no kind reminders even to make us realize that hey you have to leave your seat you have to get up walk and you know relax stop working for a while do something healthy I remember when my mom was here and she watches me working sitting in the seat working on a computer all day long she will come to my room time by time and ask me very lovingly that son please get up walk around relax look at some greener areas or green trees green grass relax your eyes all day long you're working on the computer you are damaging your health she will ask me to get up she will remind me she will remind me to go do some healthy activities go walk outside eat something she'll bring me food she'll bring me something to drink well she's not here now um well Alhamdulillah, she's alive and healthy and I'm very very happy for that that my mom is alive and healthy and my father is also But she's at the moment not living with us So that's why I was saying that she's not here at the moment Well, she's not here to remind me to do that But I found something else that does that job very very nicely and properly as I'm getting old And I have to work all day long on a computer. I do not have much time for healthy activities and of course you get lazy day by day in this life and you stay away from healthy activities and basically you keep health conscious you see your health degrading you see the signs of getting older you see the signs that you're not healthy and you worry but you don't have what it takes to take corrective measures and corrective steps mostly to blame that we do not have enough information about our health and our healthy activities on a daily basis 24 by 7 we don't have anyone to remind us to get up leave this seat stand up walk around and do something healthy to give us enough data about our health so we know what is going on and we can schedule we can pro we can plan to do some healthy activities and that thing will remind you with life with audible and buzzing reminder to let you get up from this seat, let you leave this seat and go for various healthy activities. Yes, I'm talking about health bands. Someone recently sent me a health band which is sitting right here. It is a beautiful bright colored watch, a digital watch, a health band with various sensors on the background. I haven't seen this many sensors on a watch on the backside before. So what are these? Of course, we'll go into the details. This company is making this watch. They are on the Kickstarter at the moment. The project is on the Kickstarter, but honestly speaking, this is something very, very good. That is why I wanted to share with you about this. So when they sent me the watch, they asked me to make a review. Honestly speaking, this is free of cost. Thank you very much for you to send me this watch. And thank you very much for making me aware of my health and my non-existing healthy activities in daily life. So yes, when they sent me this health band, they asked me to make a review. I told them I cannot make just one review straight without using it, without knowing this product. So I told them to be patient. I know their Kickstarter campaign is going to end and they are really, really in a hurry for me to post this video. But I told them, hey, I don't care if your Kickstarter uh, campaign ends or not but I care about using this product first and finding out if this product is really up to its job and that this product is really worthy this product is really worthy for what we pay for it so I have been using this watch day and night it stays on my wrist just like this day and night I have a very expensive Casio watch which I bought uh, 
I love Casio watches. I bought that, but that watch is actually taking rest. This watch, this health band stays on my wrist 24 by 7 all day long, all night long. And it has been more than a week I have been using this watch. And after using for more than a week, I have realized how important this watch has become for me. And I saw that how much important data this watch gives me on daily basis about my health, about my healthy activities, even about my sleep and the issues that I'm having in my sleep, about my heartbeats, about my heart rate, about if I'm sitting too long doing nothing. It does the job to the point where I really am very much aware of my health, current state of my health and current state of my healthy activities. And honestly speaking, this watch has often pushed me on daily basis to go for healthy activities, to burn some calories, to walk 10,000 steps a day, and of course to sleep on time and wake up on time. And basically it also tells me the quality of my sleep that has been good, bad or not, and or if I had some sleep issues. Sorry I'm talking too much, but this video has to be like this because I'm going to give you a detailed review of this health band that has actually, if not very big, but it did make a bit of difference in my daily life and healthy activities where I'm fully aware of my health status, my current health and my current healthy activities. And it also reminds me and urges me, pushes me to do some healthy activities on a daily basis. And at the same time, it is equipped with some critical sensors that record and monitor your health and your healthy activities 24 by 7, depending on how you wear this watch and how you use it. So let me bring the camera closer. Uh, this watch uses an app on your Android or iOS devices, connects to your phone, a smart device using Bluetooth, and provides you with all the notifications and reminders, not only here on the watch by vibrating it, but also notifications sent to the Edge Band app on your smart device and much more details about your health and your healthy activities on the app on your smart devices. So let me give you a closer look. Let's talk about its features and you will know that this little watch does start to make a little bit of difference in your health, in your daily activities, routines and urges you to change your lifestyle to a healthy lifestyle. Not a big change, but everything starts small. Everything needs a first step. And that's where this watch comes in handy because it, because it makes you take those first little steps towards adopting a healthy lifestyle by giving you full awareness of your health, its status and your healthy activities. So once you start the Edge Band app, it will automatically turn on Bluetooth and then you can go ahead and connect your watch. Now we will take a look at the app and all the data. As I said, I have been using this watch for a while now. So first off, on the watch, you don't have much, okay? It, it turns on for five seconds only and you can watch the time, date, okay? So there's not much information here. However, uh, you will be wondering five seconds only in terms of what happens. Why? I mean, this is really short time. Well, don't worry. This watch also has a feature which actually monitors your wrist. So as soon as you move your wrist to face your uh, eyes, the watch will automatically turn on showing you the time. So the first screen of the watch is time. The second screen is how many steps you have taken. Third screen is how much distance you have walked. Fourth screen, how many calories you have burned. Fifth screen is your blood oxygen level and then you have the heartbeat rate finally how many hours of sleep you have got and a mac address of the watch so there isn't much that you can do on the watch okay as i mentioned most of the things will be done right here on the uh, app so here is my current data on the app uh, i can show you this is up to date for today i have been having troubles in sleep and using this watch i do have realized that i had an issue 
in my health and I'm taking corrective steps to get rid of that and honestly speaking it did make difference and it did work I will show you that issue very very soon all right this is the current data uh, this is dashboard 746 steps taken 7.6 hours now regarding the steps I can tell you when your arm is moving when the watch is moving there's an acceler accelerometer which actually detects uh, your movements and turns them into the steps however however remember in however in the beginning it was recording wrong steps all the time I can see when I'm sitting and moving my hand or shaking my hands or you know your daily when you're moving your hands are moving all the time and it was recording each each movement as a step which was a complete wrong data so I spoke to the company and they were really really prompt about it they talked to the in engineer and they fixed the issue and released a new firmware after which my steps are very much correct that issue is gone so it correctly tells you how many steps on average I have taken in a day so far today I have taken 746 steps nice last night I had 7.6 hours of sleep okay very good so this is today's data uh, 356 steps maximum steps that I have taken this is for my sports I can go ahead and I can check everything right here at what time how many steps I have taken which is a very very useful data okay and I can also go backward uh, and see what how many steps I have taken on the previous days just like this Ooh, 8,000 2,000 9,000 steps. My goal on the daily basis is 10,000 steps. Anyway, so this is for today, 746 steps and I have uh, so many more steps to go. 9,250 more uh, 54 <laughs> steps to go for today. All right, go back. Now, the second thing that I was really, really unaware of uh, in my sleep, uh, which is again going to take some time because I'm going to talk about this in details here the issues that you are having in sleep but you do not know that you have that issue I will very very soon describe it so for now let's see my sleep okay yesterday my sleep was excellent excellent quality before yesterday my sleep uh, quality was excellent before that also excellent here sleep quality was great excellent great yeah I sleep like a donkey you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway so you can see what time you fall asleep what time your sleep was the deepest and light sleep and what time you wake up this is a very very critical data about your sleep now the next thing is a uh, heart rate so you can easily see everything about your heart rate at what time what was your heart rate you can also set a limit of your heart rate for example in the default setting is 115 beats per minute you can set more or less and as soon as your heart rate goes above that limit the watch will actually buzzer the watch will actually start vibrating showing the heart sign and elevated heartbeat and it means you need to start to calm down to reduce your heartbeat so it is a very very good thing that it reminds you to do that for old farts like us it's really necessary after that the most important thing is blood oxygen it monitors your blood oxygen and that's where I realized I had an issue with my health during the sleep and I took corrective steps and I'm very very happy it's getting better so when you go to blood oxygen it monitors your blood oxygen all the time and if your blood oxygen is getting dangerously low or you are getting in sleep apnea which is uh, right here mentioned here uh, with the red dot sleep apnea if you're getting into sleep apnea the watch will vibrate and wake you up will not get will not let you get into sleep apnea now what is sleep apnea let me describe it I would like to describe sleep apnea and what is this and why it happens what happens when we sleep and especially when we are getting aged uh, our health is degrading I mean it's not like when we were young uh, now we are getting old so what happens we we accumulate body weight body fat especially and in the throat areas I mean on the neck and throat areas so what happens when you sleep at night your breathing passage gets blocked because of that extra fat and that's where your body pulls I mean uh, struggles to breathe and you start to snore <laughs> yes I didn't have that issue but now I am 43 years old and I snore sometimes really loud <laughs> at time <laughs> there were times that I found I, I used to sleep with Arish sometimes still I sleep with my son Arish and there were times 
that at night he woke me up and I looked at him and he was sitting like that looking at me and I asked him why why you're not sleeping it's like 2 a.m. in the morning and he was like Baba <laughs> you are snoring too loud it's scary I can't sleep <laughs> so you see <laughs> I know it's it's funny in that sense, but I have awakened, but I have awakened my wife, my kids, <laughs> a number of times because of my snoring really terrible and loud. So what happens that when you're snoring at some time when you're in really really deep sleep, your uh, passage for breathing will actually get blocked, and in that way, and in that state. It happens a number of times. It can happen a number of times in uh, one night's sleep. So once you reach to that step where it's completely blocked, you cannot breathe, there are times, points when your body will stop breathing. And this uh, state can occur from 10 seconds up to one minute, depending on how it is. However, the sleep apnea will start damaging your body because your your body is not breathing it starts to damage i hope my uh, my information is right i i studied a bit about this sleep apnea thing online and my information is coming from online uh, information so your body starts to get damaged if you have frequent occurrence of sleep apnea For patients with severe sleep apnea, you need someone to wake them up at night, constantly monitor it, uh, monitor the patient and be able to wake them up when they, f they are found in sleep apnea, not breathing. So sleep apnea, I realized I had sleep apnea. It was not connected to my phone, but this H band did wake me up three times a night. There were times it woke me up at night by vibrating and I did not know why the watch woke me up. I thought the watch had issues. I thought it was faulty and that was a glitch that the watch was buzzing. But after I checked the app next day and I started reading about a uh, common sense of apnea, which is right here. So I started reading about common sense of apnea. It tells you what is apnea or sleep apnea. I started reading about OSAHS and what is that state for your sleep and I found that I did have issues. So let's go back to the days where I had occurrence apnea and the watch actually woke me up right here. On 26 10 2017 that night I had two occurrences of sleep apnea you can see two red dots right here my blood oxygen was 91 and that's where uh, the watch actually uh, vibrated and woke me up because I was going I was probably going getting into sleep apnea previous day I had three occurrence of sleep apnea this was the most severe one where my blood oxygen was only 84 and watch woke me up so after I have studied this OSAHS and I have studied common sense of apnea and what causes it how to reduce your snoring and how to get good sleep I started taking corrective measures I started taking corrective measures I started getting myself into more healthy activities and you can see that previously right here uh, on 31 10 2017 I had OSAHS moderate and sleep apnea one occurrence on some previous days like 28 10 2017 OSAHS was severe what is OSAHS is when you cannot sleep due to many reasons and you are just turning around you're just moving around so uh, you will not be falling asleep deep so that's what it it says that OSAHS was severe and I do remember that night I wasn't able to sleep properly and I was just turning around all the time even Mary left the bed and she went to <laughs> kids bed and she, she slept there saying that why you cannot sleep just turning around so basically the blood oxygen sensor on this watch is really recording very very critical information really really monitoring very important thing about your sleep your blood blood oxygen your health and it's actually taking corrective steps for you to avoid getting into sleep apnea before you get into sleep apnea it will wake you up and of course by watching all this data right here 
you will know what is going on in your health and you will be taking corrective steps for your health or healthy style or healthy lifestyle so I did take corrective steps I did give myself more healthy activities daily life in my daily life and you can see my OSAHS is back to normal uh, that was last night okay and I don't have any episode of sleep apnea previous day my OSAHS is normal no sleep apnea Previous day, OSAHS was moderate and one state, uh, one occurrence of sleep apnea, normal OSAHS. So basically, you can see that it did make a difference. I mean, this watch did make a difference in my daily life, health style and healthy activities. And I'm very, very happy that I am very much aware of my healthy activities during daily life and the issues I have. Uh, with my health regarding bad sleep that I was having Alhamdulillah now I'm having good sleep because I'm taking corrective steps towards sleeping on time waking up on time and taking some healthy activities in my daily schedules the other thing that I wanted to show you was settings before we move on you can set your sports goal you can self you can set your sleep goal that is uh, let me show you more clearly here eight hours for my sleep goal um, units that you want to do and also you can have we run app for you uh, for it to actually assist you for running habits daily then we go to the watch setting that's where I like the other best thing about these features that means uh, that means sedentary settings heart rate alarm and turn the wrist so that whenever you turn the wrist you can see the watch will automatically turn on to show you the time so you don't have to push the button all the time now the other now the thing that I was talking about was alarms you can set uh, nine different alarms on this watch that means uh, you know sleep wake up run drink eat medicine get up from your seat read a book watch a movie listen to music go shopping get your hair cut somebody's birthday give someone a ring marry again maybe <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, travel time, uh, milk time for your baby, take the baby out, uh, exchange the money, go to doctor, walk your pet, go fishing or go driving. So you can actually have a lot of different alarms that you can set to remind you various activities during the day. And I said, as I said, you can set up to nine different alarms to remind you to do different things in daily life so that's where the watch gets even more important for these alarm setting after that you can uh, you have here the um, manual tests okay so you have manual heartbeat test you have manual so2 test you have manual fatigue test and of course you have respiratory rate test you can also run these tests manually anytime you want finally before we end we have a running actually using your GPS movements you can start running and it will track your running jogging habits and where have you been using the GPS and all the other relevant data regarding your running so once you decide to start running every day you can use this feature which I'm planning to do inshallah very very soon I have to give myself some uh, more uh, I may have to push myself more towards this uh, activity to run daily all right so that's it and uh, what oh I have a reminder from Emirates airline that my travel is approaching and I can check in online all right all right so this is it for the H band review I know it has been very long review and thank you very much for staying all the time on this video and listening to me describing this watch and describing some of the key factors about the health I hope I can do more videos about healthy activities and how to keep healthy after I put myself onto healthy routine and inshallah I'll be able to do more videos on how important is health for old farts like us so getting old and doing nothing taking no steps so thank you very much to the manufacturer for making such a great watch such a great product which actually gives me a whole lot of data and a whole lot of awareness of my daily life and my daily health state and my daily healthy activities and urges me and pushes me reminds me to take corrective steps towards a healthy lifestyle i'm actually planning to buy three more of these seeing how important seeing how useful these watches these health bands are one for my sister one for my brother-in-law and one for my wife because we all need some gentle daily reminders and complete data about our health and daily life and healthy activities and something to urge us to remind us to take corrective measures and go to healthy lifestyle so go check out the uh, kickstarter campaign it's in video description you will easily find everything about this watch 
And I hope you will order one of these and get full awareness of your daily life, health and healthy activities. And I also hope you will all get towards adopting a healthy lifestyle. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there. Come on, don't be shy, just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.